Welcome to part two of day zero to five lactation video series with Liquid Gold Concept. In the last video, we discussed breast anatomy. In this video, we'll be talking about progesterone's influence on mammary gland development and milk production. Let's start our discussion during pregnancy. In the first trimester, the hormone progesterone is produced by the corpus luteum in the ovary. Eventually, around the second trimester, the placenta takes over progesterone production until birth. Progesterone is the hormone responsible for maintaining the pregnancy and it contributes to rapid development of the mammary gland epithelial cells and the mammary gland tissue. At the point of lactation, this glandular tissue actually takes up most of the space inside the breast. Let's zoom into these epithelial cells and take a closer look. By the second trimester, the mammary epithelial cells here in blue have differentiated and developed the machinery to produce the components of milk, sugar, proteins, and fats. We know this because we can detect lactose, the main sugar in milk, in the blood and urine as early as the second trimester. The mammary glands are the only tissue in the human body capable of synthesizing lactose, so the lactose must come from the mammary tissue. That's great news for mothers who deliver their babies prematurely because that means that the breast is capable of producing milk to help support the preterm newborn's development. In the third trimester, many women start to leak a substance called colostrum. This is the first milk. It is primarily rich in non-digestible proteins. This milk and the proteins it contains will be the first food that baby eats. It will help build the baby's immune system and feed the good bacteria in baby's gut, laying the foundation for baby's microbiome. Soon after birth, the placenta is delivered, and with it, that source of progesterone. This is the main signal for the transition from colostrum to milk. The fall in the concentration of that hormone, progesterone. As soon as this happens, there is a dynamic change in the activity in the mammary tissue. It's as if somebody had been keeping their foot on the brake the whole time, and now, finally, the engine is working. After delivery in the first few days, the baby's stomach is just big enough to consume only a few drops of colostrum at each feeding. However, around day five postpartum, baby's stomach has grown and the breasts are producing around half a liter of breast milk a day. And that's progesterone's main role in lactation. For more information, check out the links below, check out more breast health tasks on our YouTube channel, and visit our website to learn more about our amazing lineup of breast health education products. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.